Uh, right, this is my uh, video log on the digital detox project that I did. Uh, I'd like to start by talking about the like the positive things, the things I enjoyed about doing the project, because there's not going to be many. Like, I'm very strongly of the opinion that technology has far more pros and it has cons, that it's very integral to everything we do in our society. But there were some sort of positive things I enjoyed about you know not having it for a day. Um, uh, the main one I'd like to focus on is, is the thing about procrastination, because... I find it a major, it can be a major obstacle, like when you're on the internet there have never been more ways to procrastinate, um, like you've done work, you want to you want to reward yourself, that's fair enough, but then you say oh, I'll watch one YouTube video and then one becomes two, becomes three, becomes four, you know it's very difficult to, to break out of that sort of vicious circle, that domino effect that, um, that builds up. And the thing is I would, because I replaced like watching YouTube videos with reading on this day of the detox and I thought well maybe it'll be the same problem maybe instead of one becomes two becomes three over the YouTube videos it'd be the same thing with chapters of books but when I'd say to myself I want to read one chapter of a book I would read one chapter of a book and then put it down and go back to work I found it much easier to do that so I don't know if maybe maybe people were more focused um, before technology I certainly found that to be the case um, but then reading brings up an interesting point because like people say that it, thanks to technology, oh you know this great thing reading has 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 died out, and I don't think that's the way because actually technology with things like e-readers and stuff and online uh, has only served to enhance reading really to make it more accessible, more possible. So and, and this is kind of a major sort of point for me is that like everything, every technology always it enhances life; it doesn't replace it. So one thing I found was. Um, like I really missed having social social media during the, the day of the detox because you know I didn't realize how much I relied on it to, to sort of structure my day around um, really you know where people are or whatever so that 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 became kind of a a thing you just, you just come to realize that um, you feel you feel isolated without it and I know there are people who who kind of who would have us abstain from using social media there's definitely uh, that school of thought um it's just not something i really understand i mean you know social media doesn't have to replace real life communication like face to face talking communication that will never go away regardless of how prevalent social media becomes um and i mean the ultimate example of it is it's probably something like skype like i, I skype quite regularly with family and that and it, it, it is just a face-to-face -face conversation, but without, if anything, it's better than real-life interactions. It, it's social, it's a face-to-face -face conversation without, you know, having to get somewhere with transportation or, um, or you know, having to arrange a meeting point. So, yeah, that, that's really my point, is that I, I found during this day that I, I, I miss technology because um, it, it doesn't, it cannot be entirely replaced with with real life anymore like social media has become part of our our social lives we we use it to plan our plan our, our lives and our days around it's nice that you found that